We human beings love gold, but we have a loving mother who is a house of gold with the heart of gold. Welcome dear children of Mama Mary to day 18 of the beautiful month of October. Yes, you guessed it right. Today we shall reflect on Mary as Domus Aurea, the house of gold. What is a house? Why do we build our own house? Because we can call it our own and make it a home where there are loving relationships built. We human beings, however, build houses of brick and mortar or cement, but not gold or silver. We can see at once why our mother is called a house as she houses her loving children. Blessed John Henry Newman explains why Mary is compared to gold because gold is the most beautiful, the most valuable of all metals. Silver, copper and steel may in their own way be made good to the eye, but nothing is so rich, so splendid, so precious as gold. Therefore, it is true that Mary too is golden because her graces, her virtues, her innocence, her purity are of that transcendent brilliancy and dazzling perfection of the purest of precious metals, namely gold. And why is she called a house? rather a golden house. She is a house of gold or golden palace because she is the house and the palace of the great king of Jesus the son of God himself. Jesus was born in this holy house. He took his flesh and blood from this house. When you want to give the highest praise to anything you say it is of gold, as for instance, a heart of gold. We can only imagine what a splendid, rich, dazzling thing would be a church or a house all made of gold. But rarely does one see such a building. And even if it was, how would it flash and glitter and sparkle in the sunlight? and how we would love to stand and gaze upon it. Just if we could see Our Lady's soul, we would be wrapped and enthralled by its spiritual splendor and dazzling brilliance. When we saw Mary as the new covenant, we saw a parallel by St. Luke that as the ark in the old Testament was made of precious wood and laid by pure gold. Mary is inlaid with golden virtues of spotlessness and purity of heart and body. Rightly then was she made to be of perfect pure gold, which today's world we would say 24 karat gold because she was to give of that gold to form the body of the Son of God. She was golden in her conception, golden in her birth. She went through the fire of her suffering like gold in the furnace and when she ascended on high, she was in the words of a beautiful hymn above all the angels in glory untold standing next to the king is a vest in a vesture of gold in the holy scriptures 
the human heart and soul are often spoken of as God's house above all the t- other titles. This title, God's house, is truly fit enough only for our Blessed Mother. For nine months, our Lord dwelt really and truly within her. She was his dwelling in the literal sense of the word. And friends, you remember when the three kings offered their gifts to Jesus, what the goal signified? It meant love and charity. You can buy anything on earth in the material order with gold. And in the sphere of heavenly things, you can buy everything with love. To say then that Our Lady is a house of gold means her soul was resplendent and glowing with charity, with love of God and her neighbor. And that is what made it so precious to God that it was a house of gold. Friends, we must all be full of love and kindness to others. That's one of the best ways to prepare for receiving Jesus in the spiritual, in the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Communion that we receive during every sacrifice of the Mass. Charity is then the gold which will buy for us the Kingdom of Heaven. We must ask Our Lady, the House of Gold, to make it golden to fill it with love for God and man. And she only waits for us to ask her for this favor, for she does not want to be the only house of God. No, she wants every one of us to be a beautiful house of gold in which we receive Jesus Christ, her divine son. And look at the youth icon the blessed Carlo Acutis. He said, I want to receive Jesus every day with a spotless heart because that's when I will go to heaven and praise him among the angels. And I don't want to go to purgatory. What a beautiful thought, friends. Receiving Jesus with a pure heart and the way to such purity is our Blessed Mother who is actually the house of gold. Finally, when our exile is over on earth, friends, let us hope and pray to be admitted to His celestial city where there are many mansions of which Mary's heart, that house of gold, will still be the richest and the most magnificent of all. Praise be Jesus, our Savior. Ave Maria to that blessed, lovely mother, mama of us. Amen.